OpenAI has officially announced the release of their 4.1 family. And in this deep dive, we are just going to break down exactly what this means for automation, building out AI agents, no code workflows, and specifically tools like N8N and Fappy. So whether you are building out your voice agents, multi-agent systems, or any other AI driven workflow that just requires speed, cost efficiency, and precision, you want to stick around for this one. So before we get into it, let's just acknowledge that the move from 4.5 back to 4.1, it's pretty funny, right? So I mean, clearly OpenAI is pacing themselves and saving the big 5.0 branding for something truly next level, I think. But make no mistake, because 4.1 is no small step. In fact, it might be the biggest upgrade yet for people who are building with these tools. So 4.1, it does come in three different variants. So we have the standard, mini, and the nano. So each one, it's going to be designed for different use cases and resource constraints. And according to OpenAI, they have made improvements in coding ability, instruction following, and even context handling, being able to support up to a million tokens. In these models, they are API only. So that means you can't access them inside of ChatGPT, but they are fully accessible if you are working with tools like Open Router or just trying to use them within any end, you won't have any issues there. So the instruction following is just where I believe things have really leveled up here. So if you are building AI agents that need to take action based on context, like managing calendars, accessing CRMs, or just pulling knowledge-based data, I think 4.1 mini is going to my goats too. So what I've done is I've just rebuilt a multi-agent orchestration system in N8N that includes a commander agent and several sub agents. So we have the calendar, expense tracking, and CRM lookups. So these agents, they don't just follow any of these prompts. They decide in real time which tools are actually going to be used based on what the user has said. So previously, I was using 4.0 mini pretty often. And since switching to 4.1 mini, just bear with me because I know these 4.0s, 4.1, 4.5, all that stuff, it can be very confusing, but just stick around. So anyways, I found that 4.1 mini, it's more accurate faster and also way cheaper so when you are building agents that are going to be running constantly especially real-time voice agents cost is going to matter significantly now 4.1 mini it runs at about 0 0.004 cents per 1000 input tokens and about 0 0.016 per output which is just 60 to 80 percent cheaper than 4.0 and also more affordable than claude's 3.7 sonnet so obviously there's just a huge shift in what's economically viable on top of that OpenAI's benchmark chart just gives us a clearer picture overall. So 4.1 Mini just maintains nearly the same intelligence as 4.0, but just faster response times, which makes it perfect for all your agent logic that's going to require smart decisions without any lag whatsoever. Now, Nano, on the other hand, it just trades off some of that reasoning strength to actually become even faster for you. So it's going to be ideal for your lightweight automations or voice agents where speed is going to be the priority. So you're not going to have super long prompts or any super long actions that need to be taken. So the benchmark also is showing us that both models significantly are outperforming their counterparts on instruction following and in relative to their latency and cost, making the 4.1 family just a major step forward in practical agent building. So overall, these benchmark comparisons, they might look a little bit abstract at first glance, but the practical takeaway is honestly pretty simple. 4.1 mini is sitting in the sweet spot of performance, speed, and affordability. And then nano is purpose built for fast, frequent tasks where every millisecond is going to matter. So let's say if your agent needs to understand a multi-step instruction and just pick the right tool with context, I would go with mini. So if your logic is just simpler, like routing or responding with a short answer, definitely go with nano. Then on the other hand, we have the latency, which is of course critical for conversational AI. So if you have ever built out voice bots with Vapi or let's say 11 labs or real time, you know, you've probably experienced the pain of the long pauses, which are terrible to deal with. So really it's just killing the user experience overall. Now with 4.1 nano and mini, this drastically cuts that delay. So I tried building it out myself, building a voice agent with Vapi, just using 4.1 mini through N8N and of course Vapi. I found that the response time significantly dropped and also was fast enough that the interaction felt natural and human, which is obviously what we all care about, I would presume. So this just means that you can now build out more responsive voice agents for support, booking, sales, and whatever else without the overhead or any awkward delays. Now, because it's API based, this just means that it fits perfectly 
into any of your no code workflows, your stack, whatever you want to call it. So whether you are integrating with, let's say, Vapi, or whether you're setting up MCP style agent with just access to multiple tools like Pinecone, Superbase, any other browser tools, you now have the context, the length and the reasoning power that's going to be needed to handle those decisions all on the fly. And what's even more exciting about all of this is how accessible this makes voice agents. So you're no longer going to need a pretty big budget or also a team of developers, which I don't think you guys would have anyways, but you don't really need this to build something that feels real time and also intelligent. So you can just trigger these workflows and, and, and based on a VAPI voice input and run the logic through 4.1 mini or nano and get structured and actually actionable responses all within seconds for you. So this makes things like lead qualification or appointment booking or inbound support bots just dramatically easier to build and also scale for yourself and for your company. So ultimately, everything about 4.1 was just clearly built with agents in mind, at least from what I've seen. So if you are running agent workflows where a single model orchestrates many subtasks or even agents, then instruction following isn't optional, it's pretty essential. And with 4.1, I would say that this orchestration just works. There's no more hard-coded decision logic and the model just knows how to commands and select tools accurately. Also, if you are just going to be pairing this with the new Think tool in N8M, then you're gonna be golden and you're gonna be saving yourself a lot of probably headaches, but more importantly, you're going to be saving that budget of yours. And if you are using the MCP protocol to just delegate the tool usage intelligently, then 4.1's token window lets you obviously pass huge memory states and tool lists and system instructions without having to clip important context. So beyond that, you can now persist agent memory, inject long histories, constantly just worrying about hitting that token limit or needing to maybe re-engineer your prompts to fit. So long story short, if you are serious about building multi-modal, multi-tool or voice first AI agents, and you're not already switching to 4.1 mini, or at least trying it out for yourself or nano for that matter, you are leaving speed, reliability and savings on the table. So I would say for now, these models are the new baseline, even though it's so hard and it might change within a few weeks or even the next day, because the space just moves so extremely quick. If you've been in it for any amount of time you've seen how quick things can change but these models i would say are the new baseline and they do open the door to building smarter faster and more scalable ai agents than ever before so i'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this what you're working on building with any of these different solutions how it's been helpful for you if not then i implore you to check it out for yourself but besides that i do have more demos more walkthroughs coming so if you want to actually see how i hook up these systems within i need and vapi and all that stuff even though it's super simple as you have to do is just connect your apis and all that stuff then feel free to just drop in the comments let me know down below also if you enjoyed this video if you found any sort of value please subscribe and like the video it lets me know it's to you know keep posting videos like this and also it helps them perform better so really think Thank you guys for watching and for sticking around this long. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the next video.